Cook for everyone, welcome back, it's your host GV and I hope you're having an amazing day. And since I don't want to waste your time, let's go right into it. You can reach the enemy's base in TDM warehouse without touching the ground. The easiest way to explain this will be with the concept of the floor is lava. Which means that we need to move from here to here or vice versa without touching the ground. I am so sorry floor gang, but you were not invited to this one. Even though the concept is really simple, the execution is going to be a little bit tricky. As you can imagine, the first jumps are going to be easy PC until we get to this point. We try several times and we fail, so we decided to look for another route. Even though this one also looks like an impossible jump, we actually found something really interesting. It seems as if you grab the ledge before falling to the ground. And since you already know that I always try to go the extra mile and be as precise as possible, I decided to record the same jump from a different angle. If you didn't see it, here's the slow motion. And this means that we need to keep going. Another difficult jump but with the same trick you can make it. Moving on, and same as before, it seems we're stuck until we found this. The secret for this jump is going to be the stairs. The last jumps are going to be pretty simple, but this is not the investments, myth busters, if I don't show you a full run, no editing without touching the ground. What, mate? And for this reason, we're going to approve this one. Next, meet. The SCAR L does more damage than the M4 after the latest update. For this type of experiments, I always go for one shot in the chest without a vest. And please ignore that, we need to do this again. This is the M4, and we have our first result. But I never go boosted while doing these experiments, even if it's 1%. We have our second result and now we just need to compare them. And I gotta be honest with you, I was not expecting this because it's pretty much the same damage. Also, take into account that I use the same dimensions, size, pixels for both images. So this is 100% accurate. And yes, of course we use the correct weapons. It is possible to blow a BRDM's wheel with at least 300 bullets of 556 and if you do so, it will float in the air. So for this one, my test subject is going to be using an SCAR-L, so let's see how it goes. And since I know you love science and you are wondering how many bullets did we use, the answer is going to be 270. But wait, there's more because we're gonna keep going.
and yes, it's pretty much going to float in the air. Sadly, you will not be able to prone under it. You can still drive it even though it's going to be really slow. And at this point, without the wheels, the VRDM had at least 40% or 50% health. And this is how I conquer my meat every day. Next, meat. If you get really close to the VRDM and your weapon goes through, you can actually shoot the enemy. We're gonna try this one with the AWM, but first we want to make sure the vehicle is working as it should, even though it's smoking and floating in the air because reasons. Now we're going to get close and... Bruh. If you didn't see it, and just to be sure, let's do it one more time. You can blow up your gas can by hitting it with your fist or a melee weapon. Since I'm a very brave person, I'm going to let my test subject try this one. And it doesn't seem to do anything. Let's get a close-up just to be sure. I need to try it. Same result. But now with a melee weapon, I'm kind of disappointed, I wanted her to explode. You can kill another player with a nade in team deathmatch even if he or she has spawn protection. This should be easy to test, you only need the correct timing. You saw it with your own eyes, so this one is busted. Next, meet. You can switch helicopters in payload mode while in the air. Kev, Kev, Kev. So you have chosen that, huh? You really want to make me suffer after you watch this video? Ah, shoot, here we go again. For this one, we don't only need a lot of patience, but also a lot of skills, because I need to press the get in button at the perfect timing. And if you've been watching this channel for a while, you know how this goes. I try, I try, and I try. And then we realize we need more height if we want to make this possible. So it's time to move to a different location. Change a little bit the strategy and press the green button at the perfect time, which I actually did. But since I've been doing this for a while and I know people will not believe me, I need to do this again. But since I know haters will not watch the whole video, I need to do this one more time. We are ready, we believe. And I'm going to press the get in button as much as I can. But sadly, it's not going to work. Next, meat. Golden Mirado durability is better than the regular one. A lot of people were telling me about this, so let's see if it's true or not, once and for all. And that's 25 SKRL 556 bullets for the regular one. And now for the golden one, we have same result, 25 bullets. So I'm going to pause this one. And speaking about Miramar, we have a supply crate at this location where you can get a flare gun. And instead of going to that location, why don't we just check out the sandstones and see if there's something hiding there. So for the first one, and you can see that we're getting closer to the sandstorm, our plan here is to get to the middle and see what we can find. We noticed there were a lot of players, so if you want to try this, be sure you bring a good weapon. Once we get to this building, and with a little bit of parkour, We're going to find an airdrop, and yes, it has a flare gun. But since one time is not enough for this channel, we're going to do it again. And lucky us, we found a crate before even landing. One last time just to be 100% sure. And there it is, another good reason to play Miramar 2.0. 
And if you watch this video, you probably know why this freaking thing hates me. Don't forget that if you learned something new today, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit the bell, all notification, it really helps a lot. Next, meet. Same as before, but now with the Desert Eagle versus the AKM. You know the rules already, so here's the AKM. And just to make sure that we have the correct pistol, here it is. And believe it or not, the Desert Eagle is going to win. If you place two gas cans next to each other and blow one up, the other one will also explode. That's actually really interesting and the question here is how far should they be from each other? Sadly, nothing is going to happen, so let's get them closer and see if that changes something. Same result, but wait, there's more. This is what happens when a gas can explodes next to you and you're not wearing a vest. Don't forget to check out my thumbnail artist, link in the description, follow her, give her some love, give her feedback about this thumbnail, and please let me know down below if you like it or not. Thank you so much for watching and I will snipe you soon.